We're now going to talk about how we create conic sections. And conic sections are created by taking that right circular cone and intersecting it with a plane. And so this is what we're talking about. These are the four conic sections. And notice the circle, this one, this has a plane that's perpendicular to the axis of the cone or to the parallel to the plane that we created, and it forms a perfect circle. On ellipse, we put a slant on it. And so with the slant, we get a, it's still circular, but it's more of an oval than a pure circle. A parabola, notice, it just cuts along just right this portion of the cone, and it keeps going and going. And a hyperbola is when we tilt this just enough so that it gets one parabola here and another parabola on the other side. So these are our conic sections, and this is what we mean when we talk about creating them using planes. Now there's three other cases that you need to know. These are similar to conic sections. They're made the same way, but they're not conic sections. So suppose we have a plane going right through the center of the double cone. That's a point, and it's a degenerate conic section because it's just a point. Or we could make the plane be perfectly along the line so it forms a line, so a linear equation in this sense is a degenerate conic section. Or we could get it so it takes both of them perfectly through and it intersects at that point but we get two lines. So these are examples of degenerate conic sections. And this is what happens when you don't set up your conic section correctly. But this gives a visual representation of what these conic sections mean.